Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing my currently loving video. It's a series. <laughs> yeah, it's like a big deal. Today's basically August and September because I didn't get one up last month because it didn't make sense with the timing. I know. So this is still basically the past month of currently loving, but so this is basically what I've been currently loving for the past month. Let's jump right in, shall we? I'm gonna start with what I'm loving, self-care. I love self-care, if you can't tell. I feel like it kind of has gotten like a little taboo, is that the right word? Where it's like, hmm, self-care. But it's like really important to take care of yourself and feel your best from the inside, feel your best on the outside. This is probably a pretty obvious one. I am obsessed with Necessaire. They're probably in all of my currently loving videos, but I wanted to give you guys a reminder of what I'm loving from them and their newest product. They make the best body products ever. I have such dry skin. It's just a formula that is so incredible, but it's still clean and sustainable. They're jam packed with incredible, amazing ingredients. Over the summer, I've been absolutely loving the eucalyptus body wash and I have an empty one in the shower. And then I have a half empty one in my brother's shower because he stole it. And I literally went and got him his own body wash because I wanted it back. This stuff is gold. And then I follow it up with Obviously my absolute favorite, the body lotion, body serum. I do like two pumps in my hand and then I put the body lotion in, I mix it together and I just lather up my body. It keeps me so, so, so soft. If you have dry skin like me, especially with the winter months coming up when we kind of all get dry skin, this is just like the absolute best and it looks super chic. And then the newest product, which is so important right now is for your hands. So this is a peptide moisture nourish protect. The hand cream is a daily peptide moisture moisturizer for skin health. Apply all over hands and massage until absorbed. The key thing that I noticed here, it said massage until absorbed. This is why I'm currently loving it. I hate the feeling of lotion on my hands. However, my hands are extremely dry because of the weather changing and because of the amount of hand sanitizer and washing my hands that I'm doing. So I know that I need hand lotion, but I hate the feeling. Apply all over hands, massage until absorbed. It actually does that. It literally absorbs all the way into your hands. You're left with just soft hands. Absolutely divine so obsessed I also gave myself a manicure and it was like the perfect hand lotion to keep them hydrated and I was just like rub oh my god and how freaking cute is this to throw in your bag never thought I would find a hand lotion that I love leave it to Necessaire to get the job done and finally I have a code for you guys thank the lord thank Necessaire you guys can use the code lauren10 at necessaire.com to get 10% off best products in the entire world I could talk about them forever but I won't but I could Okay, next in self-care, these fiber pills. I think I mentioned them in a video a while ago. I totally forgot to restock, finally did. These are the Love Wellness Sparkle Fibers. I just feel as though we don't get enough fiber in our diet. Obviously consult your doctor, I'm not a doctor. You would be crazy if you thought I was a doctor, but also thank you. I just know that I don't get enough fiber in my diet and this is such an amazing supplement. It really, really regulates me, gets rid of a lot of bloating for me. I love supplements like this, I really can tell when my body isn't feeling the best when I'm bloated. So fiber for me is really important and I just like love their formula. I love that it comes in like this little tub so you get a lot of pills in here and it's just absolutely fabulous. So if you listen to the podcast, you know I'm getting back on the supplement train. I'm really starting to take care of my body even more from the inside out. So if you haven't listened to the podcast, you should listen to it. Next self-care favorite is one of my favorite mocktail ingredients. You guys know I love Pin and I just tried recently over the past month one of the only products that I haven't tried from them and this is the dream light nightcap if you guys don't know ken i talk about it pretty frequently but it's a fabulous mocktail if you want to wind down at night and you don't feel like having those extra calories of wine but you really do want to relax and you don't want to feel hungover the next day this will do it i swear to god this is absolutely amazing i'll share my mocktail recipe in like a vlog with you guys because it is actually my favorite flavor too i think it's very like vanilla cinnamony it is so good i feel so relaxed and I'm able to go to sleep, it is crazy. This is definitely an incredible substitute for that glass of wine at the end of a long day. Next, what I'm currently loving at home, obviously you guys saw my room tour. I absolutely love spending time in my room. You guys know I'm addicted to having the fake fireplace on the TV. I've been putting some smooth jazz in the background. It is such a vibe. The vibes in here are immaculate. And I'm just all about mood boosters, making a good moody environment. Currently loving fall candles. This was my splurge fall candle and I forgot how much I love it. 
love it. This is Le Labo Pin 12. It's spelled like P-I-N. It's definitely not pronounced that way because it's very French. I even customize it because when you go to the store, you can customize it and I put mood on it and just, it smells so good. And the great thing about getting the more expensive candles, if you want to get like one a season, is that once you're done, you can just clean them out and use them as cup holders. You can use them for anything. You can refill them if you want, if you're into that, but you can definitely keep the glass because it's great, great glass. And then also they last so much longer and they make the room, like the whole room smell. So usually I can get away with lighting a couple candles, but with this, I only light this and the room smells amazing. So if you really want a mood booster, get yourself a fall candle. It'll put you in such a good mood. I swear I've been absolutely loving lighting this and just feeling so cozy. And then to keep the good vibes going, I switched all my light bulbs and you can kind of tell with this, it's like a very cool toned light. So what's really cool is I got this four pack of light bulbs from Amazon. It was around $30 for four light bulbs, which obviously is more expensive for a light bulb, but for how easy and amazing they are, literally I set everything up in like less than five minutes. Everything's connected to my phone. I can control all the lights in my room now. So it's super, super nice. If you're lazy like me, you want to turn off your lights before bed and not get out of bed, which is something Cameron and I always are like, you do it, you do it. So great solution. And you can change the tones. You can dim if you don't have a dimmer in your house. That would be way more expensive to install like a whole new lighting system. And you can change the colors. So I'm not a Gen Z TikToker. I'm not going to be having like rainbow party colors in my room. Like it's just like not my vibe. No shade. It's just like, that's not why I got them. I got them for the red light too, because red light is super, super relaxing. There's amazing benefits for relaxing with red light, kind of like winding yourself down. It really helps me fall asleep. Even if I'm like doing my body care, self care before bed, have all the red lights on, candle burning. It's just such a relaxing environment. Always playing with the lights in my room now, making sure they're ideal for the mood. So I will link it down below because you guys need these freaking light bulbs. I never thought I'd be obsessed with light bulbs, but 2020 is full of surprises. Next for what I'm currently loving reading and watching this book I read this month, I just couldn't put it down. It's called Maybe You Should Talk to Someone. It's basically a therapist and it's her telling her story with all of her clients and then also her experience in therapy. It's not as boring as it sounds. The reason I couldn't put it down is because it was actually wildly entertaining. Just like wanting to know what happened next with all of her clients, but you're learning so much at the same time. I truly recommend this book. A bunch of you guys have recommended it to me. I was obsessed with this book. 10 out of 10 recommend. Maybe you should talk to someone. If you're curious about therapy and stuff too, or you just like psychology, this is a really great read. Or if you like have no idea, but like have a little bit of curiosity and you just want to be entertained, it's also a good read. So then for what I've been watching, I haven't been watching too much TV. I've been basically just keeping up with Real Housewives of New York and Beverly Hills. It's insane. I can't, I literally can't. And then I just started The Vow on HBO. 10 out of 10 recommend. I'm obsessed with documentaries. I watched Unwell on Netflix. I'm just like obsessed with documentaries, cults, pyramid schemes, all of that stuff. It's like weird. It's the only thing that entertains me these days. So if you're like me and you want a, a new cults documentary, go watch The Vow on HBO because I'm currently loving it. And then speaking of watching TV, this is kind of like a home favorite, but I just remembered it. My UV glasses, they truly, truly help me go to sleep because I like watching TV sometimes before I go to sleep. The blue light definitely keeps me up. I also check my phone before I go to bed. So blue light glasses are really important for me because I am currently loving watching TV and TikTok. These are both from Quay. I have another pair from Quay that I ordered the other day because I wanted something with like a gold frame. So fingers crossed that those look good on my face because glasses do not look good on me. These are honestly just because I get really bad headaches. I stay up too late watching TV. These actually work for me. I actually really, really love these. Next, what I'm currently loving in skincare. I don't have too many things because I am on like acne medication right now. I'm doing a higher dose of retinol. So it's really, really helping my skin a lot. I'm also on another medicine in conjunction with the other medicine that I was already on and it's helping clearing up the cystic portion of my acne right now and then I'm kind of going to focus on all the little bumps but I think my skin is getting better. I'm pretty happy with like the progress but it's definitely not like clear yet. So I haven't been using too many products on my skin just because I want to make sure I'm using all the prescribed topical medication as well. So basically I've just had to really focus on hydrating because the retinol is turning over my skin really fast. So I've been using the 
the hydrating moisturizing gel from Biba. Then I've been using the organic Omega Booster. Both of these are non-comedogenic, my favorite word that I can't pronounce. So both of these won't clog your pores. They're approved by the list of ingredients that I always check. I use the oil during the day because it's really easy to just keep lathering on. And then I use this with my retinol at night. Then if I want some extra hydration and plumping, because this really, really has always helped my skin. It's always been a holy grail for me. I'll use the Summer Fridays. I also like just using it under my eyes and on my eyes. My eyes have been super, super tired from work and just like staring at a computer screen all the time. So the Summer Fridays is always coming in handy. And then my absolute currently loving because of the dry skin, the weather getting colder. I already have chapped lips all year round. This is absolutely incredible. This is the best lip balm you will ever have in your entire life. It is so freaking good. I don't know why, but I went to Sephora. It was finally not sold out. So I had to stock up. I really like put it all around. I even put it a little bit on my chin, a little bit around my lips because that's where I've been getting super dry. I literally wake up with zero chapped lips, zero dry skin around my mouth area. Whereas when I couldn't find this, it was really bad. Like I felt disgusting. I'm obsessed with it. You absolutely need it. And then the last thing I've been currently loving is just pimple patches. Everyone has told me to get on the pimple patch train and I just was a little bit lazy, but it's such a game changer. My absolute favorite pimple patches are the Mighty Patch. You guys, these are absolutely insane. They actually draw out all of like the gunk from your skin. You wake up, you pull the patch off and you see the white. It's so gross, but like crazy that it works. I'm absolutely obsessed with those. And then I have like a few other brands that I've been trying and just honestly putting them on knowing I can't touch my face is such a game changer and really is helping me not pick. So that is definitely something I'm currently loving for skincare. Lastly, what I'm currently loving in fashion, obviously I'm pretty much currently loving everything from my fall fashion haul. So if you haven't watched that yet, there's some great pieces in there and where I've been loving shopping, even though I'm not doing too much shopping, but I do have a couple other ones. I'm currently loving my earrings because I just feel like it's such an easy thing. If you're like me and you took out all your earrings over quarantine, or maybe you just like didn't care too much about them. I just like restyled my ear. I guess that's the only way to describe it. I had zero earrings in besides the two that don't ever come out because these are from the piercing shop. And then I just restyled and put in all my earrings and I absolutely am obsessed. It just like makes me feel like I have like a little bit of my personal style again. Whereas over quarantine, I just feel like I turned into a total slob. It was kind of like a mood booster in itself, just like feeling kind of pretty again, even when I'm just like lounging around or like running errands. Knowing that I have all my earrings in, it's just like a little piece of my personal style that's like super me. I feel like I'm kind of like put together a little bit, even when I'm wearing my hoodie, so fabulous. Then I've been really loving sunglasses. I don't know why I've been obsessed with sunglasses. I think maybe because I'm leaving the house a little bit more. I ordered a pair of blue light glasses and sunglasses, so you'll see those in the next vlog, but these I'm absolutely obsessed with. These are brand new Ilisteva and fabulous, like obsessed. They're so sturdy and they just like feel so good. So I've been wearing these ever since I got them and I've been loving them. I turned into a different person when the glasses go on. Yeah. Also honorable mention to their new glasses pouch before it was like this really big case. Now it's like this like chic little leather pouch. And then lastly, my fashion favorite are my Birkenstocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shh. these are my fashion favorite. I don't care if these are in style or not. There is nothing like good arch support ladies, okay? These things I throw on, I run to the grocery store, I do my thing. These are just my run around shoes, okay? I'm not, I'm not going out to dinner in my Birkenstocks. Aren't they like kind of in now? Like don't people wear Birkenstocks now? I was just obsessed with them when I was younger because I have joint issues. <laughs> One of my legs is shorter than the other. What? So I love Birkenstocks and I think they're like kind of in style, you guys. I love a Berg. I have no shame. I love my Birkenstocks and I don't care who knows it. If you've never had a Birkenstock mold to the shape of your foot and walk around with this arch support, you are not living life. You're not. Okay guys, that's pretty much it for what I'm currently loving. I'm still pretty much staying home, just getting a ton of work done. So everything is pretty much just self-care, cozy, at home, moody vibes. That's just kind of what I'm currently loving right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you're currently loving because I always 
always need new ideas, especially books. Give this video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel and it helps me know that you guys like this type of video. Make sure you subscribe because that also helps and you can be the first person to know when a new video comes out. And don't you want to just like brighten your day right away? Why wait? Make sure you go listen to the podcast. Follow me on Instagram for updates. There's a lot of exciting stuff coming up. No, but like really there is. So you should follow me on Instagram. I will see you guys in just a few days for a new video. And until then, I don't know. Bye.